Hello darlings! Thank you so much for watching my videos and following me on YouTube channel. So here we go, we have a new video and this video about the nowadays trends. So you know how we are looking for something unusual and special in our life? So guess what? We have that trend not only in our hair, but also in our makeup. And today I prepared makeup for you, which is a called winter look. Uh, that I hope you will like and I hope you will become trendy if you actually did it and you liked it and you would like to share your picture attach your picture in the comments and I would like to share your picture as well thank you so much and enjoy the video okay first of all I took the scotch tape and I attach it to my palm twice so it will be easier to get it off later on when we will be done then I take the eyeshadow palette by Nicole Mural Truth of there and I'm, I'm showing you the color that I chose and with blending brush I'm going to apply this eyeshadow above my lid on both eyes of course and I will make sure that it will be distributed evenly then after this, I will take the clean blending brush and I'm going to make sure that I smudge the border of our eyeshadow that we just applied. Now we're going to take another color, as you're noticing, it's more darker color from the same eyeshadow palette, Truth or Bear, and we're going to apply slightly below eyeshadow that we had applied before and on the outside edge of our lid. So if you also notice, when I tap my brush in the palette, I'm slightly tapping it to get rid of the excess of the product because I don't want that product to be under my eyes. I only want that product to be over. If you need more product, come back to the palette, get more and keep applying. Keep applying on the crease of your eye as well as on the outside edge of your eyelid. As you notice, I keep coming back to the same eyeshadow palette and now I choose the darkest color in that eyeshadow that I plan for my eyes and I'm going to apply that shadow to the outside edge of my lid and also in the crease of the eye and of course I'm going to do it on both eyes Now I'm taking clean blending brush and carefully trying to blend all the colors that I have on my eye. I think our eyes are done, so what we're going to do, we, act we actually start going to apply the makeup on below line of our eye and we're going to use the same colors as we had before. First of all, with a very skinny brush, with a very flat brush, we are placing the first color under the eye throughout the whole bottom line of the eye and then we're taking the darker color the darkest color that we use today and we're placing it on the outside edge of the eye at the bottom further part of the line Now we're taking our concealer and I'm going to use these two colors that matches my skin the best and I'm going to apply the concealer on the lid of my eye. Actually that will be the base for what happens next. So I'm trying to be very careful and going from the upper line of my eye to the crease of the eye. Thank you. 
Now I'm taking my recently favorite palette, NYX Glitter Goals, where you can see all different colors of the glitter. And I'm actually choosing two colors there. I'm choosing more darker color, which is I'm applying in the middle of my eyelid. I'm going to do the same on the second eye. Would like to mention the technique of application for the glitter. As you notice, we placed the concealer before, and that's why we're not going to use the glitter primer that we usually use if we're not doing the concealer. Why? Because the concealer actually makes the glitter to stick to its surface. Another thing that I would like to mention is not to blend with a brush, just try to gently tap it on the surface so the glitter will apply to your lid evenly. Now I'm going to take the lighter color and I'm going to apply to the inside corner of my eye. As we said before, I'm going to try just to tap it. Then I'm going to take the same lighter color and apply to the inside corner of my eye at the bottom and towards the middle of the eye. And then, as you will see soon, I'm going to take the darker glitter and I'm going to apply to the outside edge of my eye. Now you're going to see something that I really, really like to use. It's actually a dust, very, very light, has yellowish color in it, and I'm applying it inside of the corner of my eye and also under the eyebrow. Then I'm coming back to the blending brush and blending the border of this lightest brown color that I had for the eyeshadow at the very, very beginning and the eyeshadow nib. Now we're going to take our scratch off our face. It goes off very quickly, so the trick what we did before was very helpful. Now I'm taking e.l.f. eyeliner liquid placing it on a special eyeliner brush and I'm doing now the eyeliner inside of my eye just make sure that you blink a lot otherwise you might start crying after that using the same product and the same eyeliner I'm going to try to do an eyeliner and I'm drawing the line to the end of my eyebrow from the outside corner of my eye. Then I'm going to start from the middle of my eye and connect to the same line that I just drew before. Slowly but truly, I'm going to keep adding the lines until I'm satisfied with the eyeliner, what I got. Also, if you're noticing, I'm placing the eyeliner in the inside line of the lid. And right now I'm going to do the line on another eye. Why I do this, why I don't finish the line first on one eye, I like to do both slightly so I can see if they're evenly done, if the shape is the same on both eyes. And when I see this, then I can apply more eyeliner and to make it as a final look. And now we go into my favorite part of the video, uh, something that will actually help us to create that unique, different look that I promised you before. 
you're looking at the mascara that has two things in it. One of them it has regular mascara and then it has primer. That it's considered to be that if you will put the primer before and then after you will apply mascara, your lashes will look longer, fuller. So what I'm doing right now, I'm taking the mascara primer and I'm applying to my lashes. As you can see, I just did two of my eyes and no mascara. Look at that. It's our new, different winter look. Now your first bonus tip. We're taking liquid eyeliner and we're placing it inside at the roots of the white lashes to make your eyes stand out. And here it is, you have a very trendy, different, unusual, beautiful winter look. Enjoy, try it and be different. And it's time for our second bonus tip. So I'm going to place the concealer in our blending box. And I'm also going to add there the eyeshadow that we used before. This way I actually can make sure that my highlight that I'm going to use on my cheekbones, under my nose, on my chin, is going to perfectly match my eyeshadows that I used before. And now it's time for our second look. It's gonna be very easy, ladies. Just put the mascara on your white lashes on your first look and apply your fake lashes on. And you're all ready and set for the beautiful evening with your loved one. And now the third bonus tip for the day. We're going to create the third look, which is going to be very easy and it's going to be done on the base of our first and second looks. We're going to take NYX Glitter Primer and we're going to apply our primer on the back of our hand, tap the brush and apply gently on the top of our eyeshadow, in the inside corner and in the middle of the lid. Now we're taking the same NYX Glitter Gold palette and we're going to use the brightest pink glitter. And we're going to apply that glitter on the inside corner of our eyes and also at the bottom. Alright darling, so it was two types of makeup that we did with you. One of them was very unusual. We used a white mascara primer and it gave us very unusual look which is in trend right now. And the second one we did with a lot of glitter. So I hope you like them and I hope you will try them in the future. So far thank you so much for watching me and please let me know which makeup you're gonna try. Unusual one or with glitter. More traditional. Thank you, darlings.